once you've set your recording path, you, you can take a look at the recording format. Now, me personally, I record in MP4 most of the time. This is gonna be the best format for just record it, post it, share it, upload it, edit it, whatever you wanna do with it. .mp4 is the most standard format for anything you wanna do with it. But if something was to happen and say you're in the middle of a recording and you have a power outage or something along those lines, then you could have the file get corrupted and you'll lose everything up until that point. Uh, but for me, I never usually have that issue. I don't think it's ever actually happened to me, but keep in mind if you do use .mp4 and you're recording maybe something that's 30 minutes or an hour long, you might wanna reconsider and use this other option because MP4 can more easily go corrupt You know, if something happens like that with a power outage or your computer crashes or literally any reason. So if you're worried about that, which I definitely would be if you're recording something that's you know much lengthier, maybe a whole podcast or really anything that's gonna be lengthy and you wanna make sure that you do not lose it if something were to happen, then what you can do is actually use .mkv. Uh, basically, this works the same way. It's not really a huge difference, but if you do use .mkv, I'm just gonna close out of this. If you say record in .mkv, you're not going to be able to upload that directly to your editing software or YouTube and things like that. The first, the thing you're going to have to do with it actually is go up to file in the top left, click Remux recordings, click these three dots. And then from there, you'll select the file and then click Remux and it will Remux video into MP4. It really does not take that long. It's just an added extra step. So definitely you want to do that if you are worried about recording longer uh videos and you don't want any chance of them being corrupted but for most people i'm going to say just use .mp4 it's going to be simpler more straightforward and most cases you shouldn't have any of those corrupt issues i've been recording with mp4 for several several years and i've never had it happen to me but pick whichever format you feel like suits your needs best